are you doing? Shouldn't you be oh, watching Heron yeah. TV? There we go. It's time for Heron TV. You're watching Heron TV. Good morning, Herons. You may notice that I'm a lot shorter than Andre, but that's not the point of this episode. Can we just please disregard that fact? What a fine morning it is, Sasha. What's on the HTV schedule today? Well, that's a good question, Andre. Well, let's see. We got the usual segments. We'll, refre we'll reflect on the track and field season, check in with Stuco TV, and take a look at one of the HTV students' latest projects. Sounds like we've got a packed episode. We sure do. Better get it started off with the pledge. Hey bro, you want to hear something? But first, it's time for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Herons. Well, it is official. The track and field season has come to a close. How did the Herons do at districts? Both the boys and girls teams came in third place, and many of our athletes earned medals at the meet. God, I wish I could have one of those. Great job, Herons. Don't forget the end of the year celebration that the athletes are all invited to after school on Tuesday. Make sure that your parents check their email to see what they'll need to bring to the party. There's sure are a lot of clubs here at HVMS, Sasha. There are, Andre. Have you heard about the Unity Club? Not yet, but I'm guessing I'm about to learn. You about right. I was really somewhere I felt accepted. Fear not, HBMS student, for I'm the Human Rights Ambassador and I'm here to help you. What's your problem? I'm sad. Well, I have the perfect solution. Come to the Shades of Unity Club, where you'll have a great time and be, and be happy. Okay. Do you want a great place to be? accepted here at HBMS? Do you want a safe place to be? Join our new Shades of Unity Club tomorrow after school in room 102. Sixth and seventh graders, do you have what it takes to be a leader at HBMS? Let's hear from Mr. Cole with the details regarding student council and the Heron helpers. Good morning, Herons. Hey, Mr. Cole here again, and today is a big day. In Student Services, there are th two applications that you could fill out uh, to be part of our student leadership program next year. And I wanted to walk you through your three options for next year. Our first option is what we call Executive Council. This is the big show. This is our class representatives from each class. There'll be five people from each grade on the Executive Council. And you will be in Student Council for the whole year, running the show. You'll be head of our committees. We have a Spirited Away Committee, which does school spirit, puts on an assembly. We have the Dance Committee. We call Just Dance. They put on school dances throughout the year. Uh, we have a Press Committee. They do advertisements. They make posters. There's all sorts of opportunities to get involved. Your executive council, that's if you want to be a leader, you want to be in front of the school, putting on assemblies, running the show, we want you. That application is your first option down in the office. Option number two next year, you could be part of our student council for one semester. And that one semester, if you've signed up for this class, you still need to fill out an application. Let me repeat, if you want to be in student council, whether or not you forecasted for it, you can still be part of student council, but you need to fill out an application. So you didn't forecast, fill out an application. You did forecast for it. You still need to fill out an application and you'll be part of that class for one semester. You will also be a Heron helper, helping out at the beginning of the year with our incoming sixth graders. It's a great opportunity to be part of uh, all those different committees I just mentioned, helping out around the school, doing wonderful things for Happy Valley. And option number three, it's our Heron Helper program. If you only want to be part of Heron Helpers uh, and want to help out just with our incoming sixth graders, do a couple days of training, which are awesome and super fun before school starts, that application is also available in the office. 
All right, Heron, those are your three options. Be part of our executive council, be part of our student council as well as Heron Helpers, or just be part of Heron Helpers. Either way, those applications are available in student services. They are due on June 2nd. I repeat, applications are due on June 2nd. So you have two weeks to get those in. We want you, we need you. We're looking forward to a great year of student leadership next year. Thanks, Herons. We sure had a good time in HTV last semester, didn't we? Man, I love that class. What was your favorite project, Sasha? Probably the bending time and sounds and the special effects video. Let's take a break from the regular broadcast and see one of the latest masterpieces. Hey, what are you doing over here? Preston thinks he can teleport. I can! Nice work, Tristan. You really pulled off that vanishing trick very nicely. I was worried we'd never see Carson again. The only thing I've been worried about is the weather. I think the rain we've been having will never stop. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with this week's forecast. It's a pretty day outside. Hey, you know what the weather's gonna be today? No, now that you're blocking my way of the beautiful sky. Let's figure out the weather for this week. now time to hear the quote of the week. This, quotes, this week's quote comes from us from the 42nd president of the U.S. The future is not an inheritance, it is an opportunity and an obligation. From Bill Clinton. I like that one. It's fitting as we spend our final weeks here in middle school. You know, Andre, leaving middle school is no laughing matter, you know. The only thing I'm laughing at is the joke of the day. <laughs> Hi, what are you two doing? Talking. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you usually know that in traffic light, green means go, yellow means wait, and red means stop? Yeah, of course. Well, on banana, green means wait, yellow means go, and red means, where in the world did you get that banana? Oh, yeah. That's good banana advice. I think this show is just about wrapped up. But we still have the hair and call outs to do. Oh, of course, how and of could Of course, I? there's still Knee Bones knowledge. You know, Andre, I come bearing very terrible news. There is no Knee Bones knowledge this week. Oh, no. Mr. Knee wouldn't, wouldn't be here until Thursday. Inconceivable. I know. I too took it hard when I learned this episode we have no Knee Bones knowledge. Maybe, uh, Maybe we'll sneak in a trivia question somewhere. Inconceivable. You keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Are we quoting random 80s movies again? Maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe. Let's just change gears and do the hair and call out drawings. As you wish. Hey Trevor, guess what time it is? What time is it? Time for the hair and call out drawings. So come down to the main office and claim your prize. Mrs. Damon will be waiting very patiently for you. I think it's time to call it a day. You know, that's what exactly I was about to say. Well, let's do it anyway. Stop rhyming. I mean it. Anybody want a peanut? You can't work with conditions like this. Well, I'm Sasha. And I'm Andre. You didn't really think we'd skip Kneebone's knowledge now, did you? 
If you think you know the references that were in this episode from an 80s movie, please email heronteleVision at gmail.com by the end of the day, and you might be this week's lucky winner. Thanks, Herons.